Welcome to the show, everyone. We have been sort of networking already before we even got on the show today. We're live on Facebook, so hi to everybody out there. Like us and follow us. We're going to be sharing the show afterwards. Um, I'm going to talk about some serious things right now for a minute. Um, unfortunately, we have to do those things too, but we're living in a time right now uh, more than ever, everyone's got to listen up to some of the stuff that's here. It's information for you. That's what I love about my show. Uh, my first guest has been on with me now several times. I have with me Stephanie Maloney, and she is the owner of Premier Estate Planning. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself, uh, what you do, but also what you've been dealing with literally within the last week or so. Yeah. Hello, Carol. Good to see you. <clears throat> Thank you for having uh, me on the show today. Yeah, it's been a little somber the past month, honestly. Uh, lost several clients. You know, fortunately, several of them, uh, you know, they waited until literally the last moment to get their documents done. We were able to get them done, but, you know, we just really need to encourage people, don't wait on this stuff. You know, COVID's bringing it to people's minds. And uh, so many people just don't understand what estate planning means. They think it's for older people, wealthy people. And it's really for every living adult person over 18 needs certain documents. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's sad when you see people that have waited to the last moment and you hope that you can help them. Well, you know, listen, it doesn't matter how much money you have or how little money. And that's what I think people, big part of it right there. Mm -hmm. uh, but look at all the people who are wealthy that don't have them. I mean, you know? Oh, yeah. Right? It's really yeah. silly. Well, that, they're no different than anyone else. When we co when it comes to death and disability, we don't want to think about it. We don't want to think about having to be cared for by somebody else. You just kick it, kick the can down the road. And and it'll be next weekend or next weekend. Right. You know, who wants to do this stuff on the weekend and start talking about these really serious topics? But it's so much better to talk about it when the house isn't on fire. Right. And nobody's hurt or nobody's had a stroke and they now can't communicate and everybody's wondering, I wonder what they want or what, you know, you got to have the hard conversations. You know, I've talked about this with other people as well, where I've said to them, because, you know, you've been on my show a few times mm -hmm. talking about this, and every time you do, it just perks up my, my mind about this. First of all, I know people that, you know, they just say, well, I just don't have anything to, to worry about. I just have what I have here. But it isn't just necessarily about what you, you, you have in your home. It's what do you want? There's so much more, especially now with all of the laws. Go ahead. It, it's the big thing about estate planning is that it's about maintaining control of decisions, both financial and medical, because when these documents that you need to create are being used, you're not using them. Someone that you've named is the one that's using them. So when you choose not to get your documents in order before a problem arises, probably the same person that you would have named is gonna come forward hire an attorney and take your your affairs through a process to put the documents in order because it's all about relieving liability of the medical professionals and the financial professionals because they're listening to someone else on your behalf. Uh, now I also want to talk about you and how you work with people. Uh, you go to them, how does it work? We work with people, you know, COVID's brought out a new virtual meeting that we really never did before and that's been fun, you know, it was a little uncomfortable in the beginning, I liked sitting with people but you know, it's, it is a time saver, and I think people like the anonymity a little bit when we're starting the process in their homes, and it's comfortable, because this can be a delicate topic, brings up a lot of emotion, so it's nice for people to be as comfortable as they can. But the way it works is, you know, you schedule a consultation, virtual, in person. We work all over the country, and we're gonna take you through, I always set at least two hours for a consultation. There's no charge for that. And what we're doing during that time is, we're learning about each other, because you need to be comfortable with the professional you're working with as well. It's a sensitive subject, and my relationship with clients is that we're going to have a relationship until either I'm gone or they're gone. Do you do second opinions? Oh, absolutely. We review existing documents all the time because people get dust on their documents. You know, they just sit there, you right. get them, get them you done. Gotta dust off the dust. Yeah, sometimes you need to take a look and make sure, uh, you know, things haven't changed, or perhaps you have three more children than when you initially did your documents. Maybe you've moved, you know, and, and those are free as well. Now, um, you before you came on, you also said that you wanted to talk a little bit about document preparer, and what did you want to talk about with that? Well, I just, I'm trying to get the message out, because in Arizona, we have a really great program called the Arizona Certified Legal Document Program, and it is monitored by the Arizona Supreme Court. It came around in 03, and it allows the public to get various types of documents prepared. We focus on estate planning and asset protection documents, 
but it's a great program for the public because it allows them to get it done in a more comfortable setting. I'm a document preparer, so I can't provide advice, but I'm going to educate so that they understand the differences because it's confusing, and then they're gonna be able to make a good decision. So I encourage people to look into the program, find out what it's about, and just know that it's an option because I think a big barrier for people is the assumption that it's going to be so expensive. Now, you, when you work with people, you uh, do a free consultation. Your website is premieraz.net. The phone number to call her is 602-371-8898. Some of the things that people don't think about that they need to have. What's the number one thing that you said one time that you were on here is about, you know, the durable power of attorney. That is the most important document, your powers of attorney for medical and financial decisions. In my opinion, your family can deal with no will. They can deal with no trust. But not having a power of attorney, because when a power of attorney is being used, you have become incapacitated. So someone's going to have to get those documents in order if you did not do it. And you know, we all know now with the HIPAA laws, I mean, you can't even walk into a, you can't even call the hospital and just say, hey, I'd like to say hello to my friend. And if you're not yep. a family member, so that's even worse now than ever before. And that's true for your 18-year-old child. They're an adult. I have two sons. And once they're 18, if they get into a horrendous car accident, something happens to them and they're not able to communicate, these are my parents and I want them to make decisions for me or at least help me, they're unconscious. They're simply going to look at their driver's license and go, we can't talk to you. Do you have paperwork? I had that experience with my own son three days after he turned 18, he had a skiing accident. And they asked to see our paperwork when we got to the hospital and he was not even, he never lost consciousness. So, and he had to sign everything when we left the hospital. And I guarantee you, he didn't know where the hospital was, who his insurance provider was, or that he had documents. No, not when you're 18, you don't even care about that kind <laughs> and of there, stuff. So that's where it goes that it's not about money. It's about having control of your decisions and making sure you have you can have a 35-year-old child that doesn't have a significant other yet, so they're still probably looking to either their parents or two siblings. What's the difference between using someone like you as opposed to going to an attorney? Not everybody needs an attorney. Well, you know, I can't. I work with attorneys all the time. Their pricing is generally higher. You know, they went to law school. They, they've earned it. they got to pay for it. Yes, absolutely. That's their privilege to charge whatever they would like. So I would definitely say I know that's one of the advantages, but you do want to make sure you're working with someone who specializes. We've been doing it, my father-in-law's been doing it since 1968. We're from the Midwest. So when we moved out here in 95, we actually do have an attorney on staff because we've been operating before the program came around. So I would say the big advantage is it's a, it's consultive. It's, it's comfortable. People don't have to worry about the clock ticking. We're not charging by the hour. Oh God. I was going to say, and I know a lot of people think about the fact that they can do this on their own, go up on, everybody thinks you can do everything through Google. And I'm not saying that Google's bad. It is good. It has a lot of good things to it. But I do think even if you do something on yourself and start researching or whatever, have her, you know, do a free consultation with you to make sure. Because also, Google's not talking to you and he's not finding out a little bit about you and finding out things about you that are important that they're not asking those questions. Right. And I say don't compare, don't compare pricing. There's other document preparers in town that are much less expensive than myself. And I've been interviewed by folks that have gone to those other firms. You need to make sure you're comparing services. You know, the service I provide I know is exceptional and they're getting a consultation. We're doing drafting of documents, it's custom. Delivery, takes about two hours. We're going through everything. We help with funding. If people don't do their funding, the certain type of documents that go with that, they don't work. And so many of them just say, here's your documents, go fund it. And people don't know what that means and they don't wanna ask because they're like, I guess I should know what that means. So we help with the funding. And as I said, I'm staying in touch with my clients. I, I wanna be in their lives until they're gone or I'm gone. Well, that phone number to call her, it's 602-371-8898. It's a free consultation and it is premieraz.net. We are gonna go on a break and when we come back, we're also gonna talk about the successor education that you do, which is really awesome. Again, it's 602-371-8898. Hang tight, we'll be back in just a minute. So we're going to continue kind of talking because we are still live on mm -hmm. Facebook. And some of the different things I know that you've done before, um, that we're not going to get this time about the package that you've mm -hmm. done before, but 
I want to, more than anything, I want to talk to them and how you, how you out there that's listening right now, how you follow them so that when we go back, um, we're going to talk a little bit about that again on live, which is the successor education part. Mm -hmm. I really think that's really neat of what you do too. Mm -hmm. talk Should I talk about how I do pricing? Uh, you can if you want, if you feel like that's an important thing to do. Because it's not flat. Like there's some, there are firms in town that it's just whatever for everybody. Right. right. But it's not. Do right. you know what I mean? Okay. So we okay. charge on work. Okay. You know, what the work is. Okay. We don't just have a flat fee for everyone. Right. And everybody's got to have different work. That's an mm -hmm. airtime 15 minute segment. Okay. So um, I also want to talk, you also talked about one time about single people. Mm -hmm. That's really important too. So when we and a lot back, of them feel kind of like, well, what do I have to worry about? It's yeah, it's oh, really pretty gosh. because they're like, I don't have any kids. You know, they're not thinking. Mm -hmm. Nobody thinks about becoming incapacitated. Right. No. Nobody well, thinks. I mean, why would we? Yeah. Right. Right. And you know, can you imagine? You've got your friend, and they've had a stroke, and you're probably their best friend, and now you're like, I'm probably their person. You right. know, maybe their parents aren't here anymore. Right. I mean, it's. I think it's even more important. It's more important when you don't have money. You know, you could be a single mom living in an apartment with three kids. You better have life insurance. You have an estate because minors can inherit. They think they don't have anything, you know, and it's it, there's such a misnomer about a state because it sounds so grand. I, I I've started calling it like life planning documents because it's yeah. not like a state. Like it makes you think like you need to have a big big home and like lots of stuff, and of course that's complicated. <laughs> but right. what about those three little kids? Right. Just because you're living in an apartment, and you don't maybe you don't even have a car. Right. You know, so getting something in place is better than nothing. Did you want to push those buttons now? Yeah. Because my, uh, we're doing my daughter had an accident. It was doing it by a week before her 18th birthday. Traumatic brain injury. So, yes, I so we had to go to court. Right do you like it? I had to go to court. Do you? Get her declared incapacitated yeah. so for a month to take over and make decisions for her. So, I told her, I said, the question in a week, I have to ask you're not going to be able to have any sex is, when she turns 18. Will we not so, do it? Yeah. Still oh, so five awesome. years ago, but yeah. that's still a, she, oh, yeah. she recovered, that's she she's recovered, recovered but she'll never be declared. So, but though, wow, she's, she's never going to be able to be she's independent. I mean, we just have a conversation, and she's pretty self sufficient, mm -hmm. but How she'll never be able to manage her own money. Mm -hmm. And so, like that. that's uh, you start down that path, it's just like reliving because it was six weeks of county, six weeks of barrows at 18 and three months, we put her in that nursing home for a year. Well, and then you guys just needed help, and so you'll be we couldn't. First. You yeah. coun't she, do what she, she needed. So excited about yeah, she needed a round of hot nursing. So, yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's just uh, well, everybody thinks it's kind of like all old people. You, you know? need to know so that thing no. yeah, it's not. that it's I really need to get to There's so many people in my son's home graduating class. Seven young men have already died. Yeah. Graduating at 16. Accidents, drugs, you know. Here we go. Welcome back, everyone. We're talking with Stephanie Maloney, and she's the owner of Premier Estate Planning. And it, you can go on and on and on and talk about this forever. Yeah. And you had said something uh, during the break. I had talked to you a little bit about single people. And, oh, my God, you just went on and on about that, too. Yeah. We're going to talk about those people out there that are single that don't think that you need an estate plan. You also said, Carol, I don't even want to call this estate plan anymore. I really want to call it, uh, what was it? Life planning Life documents. Planning? Because it really isn't about your estate, honestly. Unless you, if you own one, that's great. If you, a lot of people don't, though. Yeah. Well, Let's everybody's estate is different. People. You know, if you're well, the, I was just going to talk about single parents real quick too. A lot of you know, maybe you're in your twenties, thirties. You've got young children that are under eighteen, and maybe you don't have a lot of stuff yet. Maybe you don't own a home. Maybe you don't even have a car. But if you have children, I really hope you have life insurance. Because if something happens to you, especially if you're single, obviously there's some instability. You have an estate because your children can't inherit even the life insurance without the proper documents. And, you know, so many people say they self-deprivate. I don't have enough. I don't have very much. It's not about money. It's about having control of decisions. And I work with young parents because I know maybe they can't afford my normal pricing, but I'll work with them. I'll take payments, I'll cut the price down because I know if the earlier they do documents, they're gonna need more changes as life goes on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I wanna do whatever I can to get their documents in place. Well, you work, you said, uh, nationwide, mm -hmm. and uh, she does free consultations. I think it's so important. Listen up, everybody. I mean, I every time you come on, I said it before, I learn something new, okay, and I always, I, I do have things in place already, but I know so many people that don't, and just because I even do doesn't mean anything because down the line, something's gonna change. 
and it always does. Mm -hmm. So you can give her a call at 602-371-8898. Uh, the website is premieraz.net. And what I also love about you, too, is your, the education part of everything. Because you don't just sit down and say, here, let's do the documents, make sure you have this all done, and then go ahead, file them, or if you do the filing. Mm -hmm. No, this is something where you truly, really educate. And when you called it successor education, and that's what you specialize in. Yes, because depending on you know what type of documents, whether it's a will or a trust to distribute your assets when you're gone, the people that you're naming to do that job for you probably have never done it before. Most times they're not familiar with the paperwork either. So they don't know when their time comes either because of an incapacitation or a death. They don't really know what to do either. And I had some clients early in my career that really were taken advantage of because they didn't know what to do even just after losing their spouse and there's really nothing much to do. But they got really taken advantage of and I said we need to educate our clients and their successors so they understand. They give, we give them a dry run of what to expect under an incapacitation, what they're to do, and then when the person's finally gone. And it's been really just people are like, oh, thank you so much for doing this because they just don't understand. People think a will does want to trust or they just, there's a lot of misinformation. And when you go Google, you get, of course, even more and it's just overwhelming. And you try to, a lot of people will try to figure it out on their own because they don't want to bother you. And I always, my cell phone is on everybody's card. Call me, don't sit there and try to figure it out on your own. But which we get the successor education done hopefully within six months of signing and if we have to do a webinar because they're not here it, it doesn't matter the number to call is 602-371-8898 uh you know i don't even remember if i told this story when you've gone with me before but my father who you know and he he was old school you're right but he had thought that he had it all taken care of and um there was just one thing that he did that didn't get uh, notarized, and it was. So, but who did it hurt the most? The ones left behind. Me. Yeah, because you have to clean it up. No, I didn't have to clean up anything. <laughs> I lost it all because my brother went and took it all. Mm. But that was what was sad. Yeah. Is that? Is that this is what happens? It's not you. It's not you. You're gone. You're going to be happy for them no matter what. But you know, especially if you really wanted something done, and I know that that's what he wanted was something very specific. So much so that he had written everybody an email and a letter. That was great, Dad, mm -hmm. but he didn't sign it. He did through the, for the, on the typewriter, but he didn't notarize right. it. And so as simple as something, little as that, and he had an attorney, he had other attorneys and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but one of the things that he thought he could do, whether it was on his own or whatever, didn't do it right. Didn't do it right, and I think that's huge. Well, it is, and you were t talking about doing your own documents. Legal, there's nothing wrong with like legal Zoom documents. The problem with those types of documents is that you don't know what you're doing. And they walk you through a little bit. I've done it myself just to see what the process is like. And I have reviewed tons of legal Zoom documents. They're fine. There, there's nothing wrong with them. They'll work if they're done right. And when I say done right, if people are using a revocable trust, they have to do funding. It's retitling of assets because I, I like to think of a trust as a suitcase, but you've got to put stuff in it. If you don't, you just have a, a will, and it has to go through probate, which is one of the things generally people are trying to avoid when they do a revocable trust, because they've heard about it, experienced probate, don't want to do that. So they'll go down that path, and if they go on LegalZoom, they even tell you, you need to fund this trust. Well, I was just going to write this, I was writing it down trying to figure out how to say this. There's documents, and then there's documents that work. Yeah. You know, I mean, because it really doesn't matter if you don't have, you can have all the documents you want if they're not like my dad. If yeah. you don't have them that are done right, forget it. That's why you do second opinions. That's why you love to talk to people and sit down. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you have money or not. It's all, what are your wishes? What do you want for you? Forget about your money. What do you want for you mm -hmm. if, God forbid, you are incap incapacitated? Yeah. And that takes you to the, the single. I've been working a lot with single people that don't have children, don't have a, you know, they don't have a significant other, and many times their attitude's kind of like, well, what do I have to worry about? They're thinking about, I don't know where to leave my stuff, because I don't, maybe I don't have nieces and nephews. They, that's kind of what they're thinking about. They're not thinking about, what if I become incapacitated? Because we all kill ourselves off, we don't want to think about that happening. But that's a big ask. And you'd rather make the decision now while you can actually have a conversation with your, your friend and say, hey, if this happens, you know, would you mind being my person? 
you know, we're all hoping it's not going to, but it's so much better to ask now than somebody well, having can. to come forward and do it. That number to call her is 602-371-8898. Her website is premieraz.net and uh, she does free consultations. And uh, you know what, I think it's so important. I sit here and I think, gosh, you know, I'm so glad. I've, I've been doing this a long time, so I've, met, I've heard other people speak and at, during that time, but I'm so glad that I do have something. But every time now, even now, I have something <laughs> in question in mind. I want to make sure that I did this or that and that's what's important that's where you come in yeah. and you can sit down and you don't have to have any questions when you talk to her you can get all of those information from her and she'll what about that's called peace of mind right I think so and you know there's another scenario that's happening a lot too when people don't have documents the state of Arizona or the state of where you live they have a will for you they have one for all of us and we have a lot of second marriages third marriages now with children from from other marriages. If a person passes away without their own documents, they have a chance of disinheriting their own children. Just because... Give the, her a call. The person, you know, you don't want that to happen. And not that their, their <laughs> wife or spouse would want that to happen, but if they don't know and they end up not doing documents, things will go down their bloodline. Mm -hmm. And their kids are out. And it wasn't by intention, it's just lack of education. And please don't, don't think you're super people because you're not. Anything can happen at any time to anybody. doesn't matter how old you are. You said that they should have it as, you know, as early as what? 18. 18 and when I sure. work when I work with families that have children, I'll call them children, under 30, if they're not, if they don't have a significant other and their parents are still their people, I just do those documents for them as part of our service. You see, and that's what I love about her. But more than anything, she's not. Uh, she's about making sure that everyone's taken care of, yep. and making sure that you're educated and knowing. What are your final words today? Call and make an appointment. Let's talk. Don't wait. There's no harm in just getting a little knowledge. You know, we're we're live on Facebook with the people out there to listen to all this information and what's networking is all about is just telling everybody about it. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's someone that you know. Make sure that they have these the information here that you're hearing. Again, that phone number to call direct at 602-371-8898. Her website is premieraz.net. She does free consultations. She specializes in successor education which I love that you do that love that I think that everyone should have that and I'll, I'll do that for clients that I meet I do a review I will do it for their families even if I don't do work for them I just feel it's good good karma you get the word out a lot of times people's successors don't have documents so maybe there's a little selfish bend I might get a new client you never know but so. the, it doesn't matter what matters is that everybody knows what they're doing and that you have peace of mind that's the most important thing and don't wait till it's too late it doesn't matter how old you are something can happen to you that number again to call direct at 602-371-8898 the website is premieraz.net